Hello folks, Andrew here, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to do this in Godot. We're going to make an object look to the mouse position. This was asked by a guy a few weeks ago and it took really a long time to figure it, at least to me. Because like you can imagine, I'm still learning and I'm only sharing what I learned. Like you can see in my scene I have different objects. I have a mesh that is going to be the rotating object. I have a ground and I have a camera. Like I said, we're going to cast a ray from the camera to the ground and we're going to get that position. Ray casting works only with areas or bodies, so I added a, an area to the ground. And another really important thing is that, like you can see, all my ground it's not on the zero point, because this thing doesn't work if the objects are located on the zero point. So let's go and make this happen. Now what we're going to do is pretty complicated to follow, so just pay attention to everything. So first of all we're going to need two variables. These variables are going to be ray origin and it's going to be a vector 3 and a ray target and it's going to be a vector 3 as well. Then we're going to make things happen when the mouse moves. We're going to update these two variables converting the 2d position of the mouse to a 3d position so function input event and here i'm going to use a new variable called cam this way i can get the camera so get parent dot get node camera and if event is input event mouse motion i'm going to set the ray origin to cam dot project ray origin and inside i'm going to get the mouse position so get viewport dot get mouse position then i'm going to do do the same for the ray target. So ray target equals to cam dot project ray normal this time and inside I'm going to get the mouse position as well get viewport dot get mouse position. I'm going to multiply this for 1000 just to make sure that the length of the ray is long enough. Now we're going to cast a ray. If you don't know that much about casting rays, I have already two fast helps, go and check them. So to cast a ray we need a function physic process delta and inside I'm going to put two variables var space state equals get world dot direct space state and then var ray and this is going to cast the ray space state dot intersect ray and here we need to put ray origin then ray target then we need to exclude itself by the collision so this is going to work in layer one and we're going to put true true in both of the collision with bodies and collision with areas so after that we need to get the angle and update the rotation. So I'm going to put if ray. This way it works only if there's a value in the ray variable. So I'm going to get the ray collision point and I'm going to create a variable ray collision point equals to ray dot position. Then I need the object position. So I'm going to use a new variable var object position equals get translation. Now this part probably will sound you a little bit odd, but we need to get the relative position of the collision point. So I'm going to reset the ray collision point to object position minus ray collision point. This passage is very important because it allows us to make things happen in every point of the scene. So last but not least we need a variable called angle and since we're going to make the object rotate only in the y x we need to get the angle between the two points like they were 2d points. So var angle equals to vector 2 inside here we're going to put ray collision point dot x and ray collision point dot z then we're going to add a dot angle 2 and inside here we're going to put a vector 2 object position x object position Z. This way we're going to get the angle. Now last but not least we're going to make the object rotate. So self.set rotation and since we're working in 3D space we need a vector 3. Inside we're going to put 0 in the x angle, we're going to put angle variable inside the y and we're going to put 0 in the z. Now let's try it out. It's working. You're done. Leave a like, a comment and subscribe. But more important, keep making games!